The UK is planning something, well, pretty revolutionary for its navy. A missile-carrying drone warship called the Type 91. No crew, packed with weapons, controlled remotely or through AI. This could completely change how future naval wars are fought. But how does it work? Why is the UK betting on it? And what challenges lie ahead? Let's break it down in this six-minute explainer. Type 91 is not your average warship. It's part of a bold new concept, a fully uncrewed missile ship. Think of it as a floating missile truck with no humans on board, controlled through advanced networks. The idea is to load this ship with vertical missile launchers, long-range cruise missiles, anti-air missiles, or even hypersonic weapons in the future. The Type 91 will operate alongside Britain's next-generation destroyers, the Type 83, forming part of what's called the Future Air Dominant System, but... Unlike manned destroyers, the Type 91 won't need living quarters, kitchens or crew escape systems, making it lighter, cheaper and more focused on raw firepower. Now the big question. Why would any country want to build a missile ship without a crew? The answer lies in three main benefits. First, it massively increases missile capacity. A drone ship can carry dozens of missiles, helping crewed ships avoid running out in a real war. Second, it reduces risk. If a drone warship gets hit, no sailors are killed. It's just a machine. Third, it's cost-effective. With fewer human systems on board, maintenance and crew costs go down. In short, the UK wants a navy that's more flexible, more survivable and more powerful, without stretching its manpower too thin. But how will the Type 91 actually work in battle? This ship won't fight alone. It will be part of a digital fleet connected by satellite links, sensors and radar. Other warships or even aircraft will send targeting data to the drone ship and then it can launch missiles on command. It's called a system of systems approach where each part, ship, drone, plane, sub, works as one coordinated unit, so instead of every ship doing everything, each ship does what it's best at. Type 91 will be the floating gun in that system, delivering firepower quickly and safely from a distance. Type 91 is not the only futuristic drone ship in the works. The UK is also developing Type 92, another uncrewed vessel meant for anti-submarine warfare, and Type 93, which will be an unmanned underwater submarine. These are part of a bigger program called Project Cabot. Under this project, the Royal Navy wants to build two types of drone fleets, one controlled by private contractors to patrol oceans using AI and send alerts, and the other fully government-operated for direct defence missions. The Type 91 fits into this long-term strategy of building a hybrid navy, with both humans and machines working side by side. Of course, building a drone warship is not easy. There are technical challenges, like how to ensure reliable communication during battle. What if the signal is jammed? Or what if the ship gets hacked? There's also the political challenge. Will the government actually fund this? The ship is still in the pre-concept phase, meaning nothing is finalised. Its future depends on the next few strategic defence and spending reviews. If funding is cut, the Type 91 could remain just a futuristic idea on paper. The UK's plan for the Type 91 drone warship shows one thing clearly. Naval warfare is evolving fast. In the future, wars may not be fought just by humans on ships, but also by networks of unmanned vessels responding faster than any human can. If successful, the Type 91 could become a model for navies around the world. But for that to happen, the UK needs to solve the tech, secure the funding, and stay committed over the next decade. One thing is certain, the next war at sea will look very different, and Britain wants to be ready for it. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Defence Explainers in plain English. See you in the next video.